green pepper, red onion, and some portobello mushrooms right here. And as well, a little jalapeno right Man, these are all the spices I got. I need some more. Like seriously, I need some at least some steak spices. I got all this, and I don't even use this. I don't even use this. I don't even use this. I use this and salt, and I, I I'm out of pepper. I need. Some Check it out. This is where the magic happens, right here. So we're gonna add the veggies just everywhere. <clears throat> Then we add the strips, there we go. This. This. And like this. There we go. And last but not least, you gotta put some eggs on that. Just like that. There we go. Okay, this is, I'm pretty excited to eat this meal because, I mean, look at it, just steak. So this is how I like, this is the first time I ever cooked this, by the way, first time ever. And it turned out pretty good. I mean, uh, we got a steak medium rare. I like my steak medium rare. Don't cook it like, when it's fully cooked, to me a steak is overcooked personally. That's how I feel about it. So I like it rare or medium rare like it is right now. You see that, that red right there? That's how I like it right there. And then the eggs are pretty much um, over easy, but I busted the yolk by accident. And that's it. I'm gonna eat this. It's a big meal. I mean, this is a lot of calories right here, so I'm probably not gonna finish all of this, but I'm gonna finish as much as I can because I, I don't like wasting food. I love food. I appreciate food. So I'm, not, I'm gonna try to eat all of this right here. Let's try something. I'm gonna take Heat. I'm gonna take a little bit of rice, green peppers, steak right here, and then I'm just gonna put it in the yolk right here. So, a little bit of yolk on the steak. That's good, man. That's really good. I never tried egg yolk with steaks, but it goes surprisingly well together. It's very fucking good. <laughs> wow. The jalapeno is so hot. Making me cry. Look at that. Woo. Holy shit. That is so spicy. You know, sometimes you go at Subway, you put a ton of jalapenos on your sub, right? And then you buy your own jalapenos for the first time. And then you try cooking it. Sorry. You try cooking it. And then it makes you cry because it's so strong compared to the ones you get at Subway. Wow. That was so strong. And I only took like a, a small piece like this too. Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you're doing good. Hey, this is the first time in like months, months that I have done like a bodybuilding arm workout, like a full bicep and tricep workout. So I did all the exercises I thought that really, really work well for me. And hopefully these can really help you out as well. Uh, but yeah, here... Starting off with some skull crushers, but with the dumbbell. I love these and I love to go behind my head. I love that to really get a full, a huge range of motion to really burn up my triceps. Um, it's very easy to, to cut the range of motion short, so I really try to not to. And here I superset it to easy bar skull crushers, but I went to my forehead this time. I didn't went behind my head, so I just stop at my forehead and extend it all the way up. It's very, very important to uh, to have a full range of motion on these movements. 
to really activate the most amount of muscle fibers, in my opinion. I mean, there, you can do partials. Partials are great to always keep tension. But I, personally, I prefer to go full range of motion like 95% of the time. It's really personal prefer preference and what works better for you. Um, but yeah, I did like, uh, I believe, three to five exercises of tricep and bicep each so about like <laughs> i say like six to eight six to ten exercises in this video maybe less but yeah it's a lot of exercises but i cut the sets short for a lot of them i i only did like two sets for a lot of them just to cut the volume not to not do too much because uh there's a point where you can do just too much volume and you can't even recover from that so you gotta be, you gotta be careful and just um, try different things, um, but I I really felt like this was a good workout. It wasn't too much. It wasn't not enough. You know, it was like a perfect in between. Um, here tricep extensions. I just switch up the angles of uh, my elbows and my elbow placement. Like here, I'm way in front of my body. My elbows are way in front of my body. I I feel I feel like it's so much harder to do. So that's why I did that variation. Um, and here we got overhead tricep extensions. This is one of my favorite movements for the inside part of my triceps to really burn it up and really get that, that separation in between your tricep and your bicep in the inside part of your arm. This is what you want to do right here. Uh, I loved it. I love it, like I said, uh, mainly because I always feel a great, great burn doing it. And it's just a fun tricep extension variation to do. You know, at the beginning of this workout, I wanted to train shoulders. I really had that in mind. I'm going to train shoulders. I'm going to have a good workout. I started off warming up with some overhead presses, and then the weights were super heavy. It felt very heavy compared to usual, and it felt very slow when I was pressing overhead. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to back off and train some arms and film it and post it on YouTube. Sometimes you just got to back off sometimes and wait and be patient and recover. That's... The, the, the thing, the lesson I, I thought about yesterday, like, dude, why are you so worried about training your shoulders right now? You can just train them tomorrow. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Sometimes you just got to take your time, recover, and then you get stronger. And that that's patience is key, basically, is what I'm trying to say. You got to be patient and recover. And uh, I was not patient because uh, I, 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 I benched 12 hours prior to this. And then I want to do some overhead presses. So I, basically, I pressed 12 hours before this, and then I want to do some shoulders after. So no wonder the weights were feeling heavy and they were feeling sluggish. Like, it's just poor recovery, basically, from my end. I didn't even have time to recover. So I just backed off and did some arms right here, and it felt good. What a good pump this workout was. What a great, great, just spending energy is just what I want to do, I think. At the end of the day, I just want to spend some energy. It was late. I could not sleep. So I wanted to go to the gym. And this arm workout was good. <clears throat> but yeah, I did hit all the angles possible, basically, for my triceps and biceps. Um, this is really a full workout to get really fuller, rounder arms and bigger arms as well. It really just depends on the person how much... Uh, frequently a week you'll do this workout and how much volume you'll do and if you do actual quality reps to that will get your results basically is what I'm trying to say so focus up get these reps in get that quality quality movement in and you will get some amazing results uh, I love to do this at the end of my workout sometimes especially arms or chest day just like to do some push-ups with a weight on. And that was so awkward to do. Look at me. Look, at, it's so awkward to put a weight on yourself. And I'm good. Good to go. But yeah, I just want to do some diamond push-ups. Basically, your, uh, your hands together in a triangle. And then you just press up to, uh, to really hit your triceps. It's all triceps when you do this. So uh, close grip like this. All triceps. And I can barely do like 8 to 10, I think, right here. 8 to 10 reps. Because it's uh, my arms are just fried from all the, <laughs> the exercises I did, and then this diamond push-ups. I'm not very good at them, but they're fun to do. You know, they're very fun. And then you look look at how tired I was. One, two. That's body weight. Three. How many did I do? How many? I got four in me. And then I I stopped right there because I knew I couldn't lock out the next rep, or I would have really grinded. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm just gonna 
back off and then do the biceps preacher curls here i love these so much because they prevent you from cheating and it really really isolates your your biceps um, make sure you always keep the back of your arm against the actual bench to prevent you from cheating that's the whole point of this exercise to have a good technique and isolate the, the bicep i love it i really try to have a full range of motion <clears throat> pretty much all the way down and go all the way up squeeze my biceps and that's it pretty straightforward stuff I think my arms are getting a little bit bigger and fuller um, lately, especially the past like two years, I'd say they, they got a lot better, but it's still a work in progress. I'm going to train them at least twice a week here and there, mainly triceps. I don't really care about biceps that much, but I'm going to train a lot of triceps because uh, training your triceps can really help out for a lot of things like your bench, your overhead presses, any kind of anything you need to lock out. It really helps out with that. So I'm going to train a lot of triceps. Biceps, they're not very important. I mean, biceps are mostly a, a beauty uh, muscle group, basically. They don't help a lot for a, a whole lot of things, except when you're pulling. Like when you're doing your back, you will use some biceps here and there. But they're one of the most useless muscle groups, in my opinion. They're just really for show. Um, triceps are much, much more important than your biceps because they make two thirds of your arm and they help with your lockouts for any kind of pushing movement you do. So I'm not going to do, uh, that much biceps compared to triceps, except that I say that I say that, but I love doing bicep curls. It's just a fun, fun thing to do because you get such a good fucking pump. But, um, mainly I, I try to hit my triceps two times a week these days at least and i hit my biceps at least once a week though just want to maintain as much as possible but yeah pretty straightforward workout i hope you enjoyed this um then again like main takeaways from this video in my opinion is focus on the volume how many sets and reps you do for yourself to get a change focus on how frequently you do your arms throughout the week Frequency is extremely important. If you only hit your arms once a month, for example, there's no way they're going to get bigger compared to hit if you hit your arms like three times a week. You understand what I'm saying? So frequency and volume is very important and as well recovery. So sleeping and eating good foods, basically. And then it should all come together slowly but surely. As, as long as you're patient and you're consistent with it, you will get great results. Okay. So, yeah, that's about it. These are hammer curls right here. Um, I don't do anything for my forearms that much, but these right here are one of the reasons I got some really, really thick forearms is because of these right here. Hammer curls, extremely effective. I feel it in my biceps, but a lot of forearms as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, for this workout. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. It really helps out to push out the video more. And as well, leave a comment. Just leave a something, you know, ra random if needed. But just leave a comment. That has as well helps a bunch to get the video recommended. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. And uh, I'll see you next video. Don't be afraid. Uh, comment down below what you'd, you'd like to see for next video. You want to see me train outside? You, do you want to see another muscle group that you'd like to see? Uh, different exercises? Uh, a vlog? What do you want to see? Just let me know in the comment section and I'll take on some ideas. Take it easy. Have a good day.